is Patty Elsberry with acrylic art paintings and we're going to be working on this uh, beautiful pour today. I'm calling it Pouring with the Stars. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's start. And today I'm going to do just a little quick pour because I don't like this one and I'm going to report it. This is for my granddaughter. She wants um, this uh, blue and coral and pink this is to um, decorate her bedroom so please don't ask i don't make these color com uh, combinations i am just trying to do what she asks and wish that she would be happy with the result you know that's all we can do so we do with coral again and pink so, and then gold and then cross our fingers that this pour will work well right that's all we can do all right so we're going to stir it and pour, All right? So we'll do a flip cup. One, two, three. Let's see, let me show you this side over here where we can see the colors going down. And my cup is lighting from me. So, ready? One, two, three. Okay. This is, oh, this is very pretty, guys. Very, very pretty. I don't know if you can see the pour in there. I'll show you anyway. Um, I used um, craft paints, a little bit of craft paints, a little bit of um, the Walmart acrylics. Um, I also used Dimethicon in only one color um, to help with cells. I, as much as I like my cells. Oh, I'm sorry about the, air, the airplane. I live close to a to an airplane. Um, to an airport so, um, it's Saturday we have a lot of um, pilots trying to practice and go for a flight okay so here you know what I like it better than <laughs> the one I had so I'm glad that I made the pour this I can see my cells, uh, not too many of them, and I'm okay with that. See, that's why I only use Dimethicone in only one color, but I like that one over there. I would give you a close up, but I did not cover my the keyboard of my iPad, um, and uh, I don't want paint to, to get in there. But um, I'll bring the torch and, um, and see if uh, we can get some more cells and see how this turns out. I'll be right back. Okay, see if I can show you the, oh, there we go, there we go. I hope you can see. Yes, I see cells coming out and I like it. Yes, guys, I really, really like this. So I'm not gonna torch, over torch, and I'm gonna show you how it looks. Check it out. This is how it looks. So I'm gonna let it dry, and I'll show you how it looks all dried up. 
everyone, this is how the paint dried. And I'm gonna tell you, I I really, really like it. Um, off camera, I posted, I mean, I, uh, I made this and kind of swirl it and then sprayed alcohol in, uh, alcohol, just plain alcohol, and kind of let the, uh, tilt it like this, and that's how this, I got this fade effect. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, oh, something else that I really like about this, I don't know if you can see it, but in this side, it's like really smooth, but in this side has this kind of um, crackle effect. I really, really like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, since I have this nebula effect in here, I'm just gonna finish it with some stars. And in order to do that, I have here some um, just uh, diluted uh, plain white paint that I'm gonna use with this brush. And I'm just gonna go with my, see, just like that. See? So I'm gonna see if I can do some, no, it doesn't work like this. Okay, fine, be that way. So I'm just gonna go here. And this one, this is why I'm, I'm having it like down here because this, when you do this, you're gonna have stars all over your table. So I'm just, going here and I'm gonna have to go paint and also I like the fact that it gives me different sizes see their little ones and so that just increases the um, the look see I, I already like the way it's looking so I'm just I'm not gonna do too much I'm gonna try to I want more stars this way because Ah, uh, there we go, there we go. Because this, in my opinion, the way I look at it is this, this is the birth of the nebula. So um, that's where I want the most little tiny stars. There we go. So if you want, there you go, there you have it. So if you want to um, kind of enhance what the poor gives you, this is one of those things. Some of some people, uh, some artists just um, use markers and draw. In this case, because of the colors, it's more um, sky looking nebula. And so I went with the stars. Um, now I'm going to let it dry, varnish it, and um, uh, show you the, the finished painting. All right guys, so this is the finished uh, pour, you can see, I mean, I, I really, really like this. Um, and um, I'm gonna call this video Pouring with the Stars. And um, here's another example for you. This one I poured a while ago and I did not know what to do with it. Um, it only had this, um, I decided, well, I wonder what uh, purple and green and yellow and black could do. And so I made the pour and I came up with this yellow thing. And so I'm like, oh, I don't know how to finish this. So I let it sit for a while. And then my husband showed me a picture of a, of, of a nebula. And I decided to do the stars here and add this white to blend with the stars. And also um, you can see there the very dark purple. So I put hints of painted hints of purple in here and now it all blends together and I really, really like it. So um, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, don't forget to subscribe and until next time, keep pouring.